know is like so inaccurate and yeah. it's just like oh i think writing we're, checks and you're like maybe <laughs> you're I, like what? i think we're finally going live because zoom is always a dick and doesn't tell you when you're going live but and, cool. and by the way uh you can swear here so that's that's perfect um, i'm not going to because i'm trying to get used to not but really yeah i haven't sworn in a long time i mean i do on my personal time but not in marketing so yeah, you made a you made a post about it like a few months back that I read that you were talking to somebody at some event and they challenged you to quit swearing or something like that. No, that's no. You didn't make that post. No, maybe I'm I made hot. a post, but I I don't remember anybody ever challenging me to or that I that I cared to, you know, mention. Um, no, it was because I walked in to the kitchen and my son, my son always likes to listen to my Facebook lives. Um, yeah. So he'll just sit there and, and listen to me talk. He likes hearing me talk. Um, good. Cause I talk a lot, <laughs> but uh, so he was listening and I was doing my normal thing where I, I used a ton of profanity and I saw the nanny take his hand, uh, take her hands and put it over his ears on my own video. And that's when I like, was like, okay. Oh no, that's crazy. It, it all made sense at that moment. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So. Damn. Well, we've started. Um, Dan, thank you so much for being here. Um, yeah, uh, for you guys that don't know Dan Henry, uh, he um, has grown his business to eight figures. He is a two comma X winner. He spoke on stage at Funnel Hacking Live to over 5,000 people. He just uh, wrote a book. Um, that we're going to be talking about right here, Digital Millionaire Secrets. Uh, and he doesn't do a lot of podcasts and interviews and all that stuff. So I feel totally honored to have you here, Dan. Thank you so much for being cool, here, man. dude. Cool. Is there I, comments? Uh, Can I see comments or no? Uh, I will uh, I'll read off the comments. You can read off comments if you feel When we have them. Worthy. But uh, I'd love to start with just your journey, um, just kind of where you started and from the very beginning, how you got to this point. Yeah, so, um, you know, it was a gazillion years ago that I was in college, and um, I, I was, it was funny because I was, I, I, I went to college in Tampa, and I, and I lived an hour away in a suburb, a Tampa suburb, so it was quite a bit of gas every time I went to and from class, and I had a Chevy Blazer, which was like super bad on gas, and so sometimes I would stay in my car um, and sleep in my car in the parking lot because I just didn't want to like spend that much on, on gas. And I had, might've had to been to class, you know, my uh, class will end at 8 PM at night. I gotta be back at 7 AM. I'm like, why am I going to go home? So one night I did that. And I always used to make up these excuses to my parents. And I used to tell my dad that I was like hooking up with girls or something just to, just to kind of like not be like, dad, I'm staying in the parking lot. <laughs> um, and so, one day I went and hung out at Guitar Center, which I, no I normally did all the time because what else, what else was I going to do? So I went and hung out at Guitar Center, which was right next to the college. And I had just taken intro to recording that day and we were talking about microphones. And um, the, there was a guy at Guitar Center trying to figure out how to, how to wh or what microphone he wanted to buy. And the dude at the counter just did not know what he was doing at all. And so I walked over and I said, hey, man, I, I can help you out with this, you know? He's like, oh, cool. And he's like, well, what, what mic should I use for a kick drum? And I asked him some questions and I figured out what would be best for him. I said, oh, you definitely want this one. And he's like, okay, awesome. So he was so impressed with my knowledge of microphones, which I had just sort of recently acquired, that he offered me $100 to come to his house and teach him how to use his recording software, which is called Pro Tools. And so I was like, okay. So I went to his house for an hour and um, there was an hour or two and, he, and I showed him how to use his software. He paid me a hundred bucks. And as I left, I'm staring at this hundred dollar bill and I'm like, wait a minute, this was the easiest money I ever made. All I did was teach somebody something I know and it helped them solve a problem. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't even like a, a super authority on it. I just knew how to solve their problem. And from that moment on, I was like, there's gotta be something to this. So I tried everything I could in the terms of online education. I had this this company called the Pro Tools Helpline, where I charge 50 bucks an hour to screen share and help you with your software. And, you know, it, it did okay. I paid my way through college, but it never made me any big money or made me a millionaire. And over the next like 10 years, I struggled. I tried every business I could possibly imagine. I, I was a carny at one point. I literally sold Italian ice at carnivals. 
Um, I don't share that too often. Um, <laughs> I, I owned a bar. I, I, I saved up money from, I did affiliate marketing for a while, made a little bit of money at that. I bought a bar, sold the bar. Like I did, I did a lot of stuff. There's probably stuff I did that I totally forgot. Um, and then, you know, I got into agency stuff, like doing like digital marketing agency stuff. I was doing real good with that. Um, like I was making like 10, 15, 20 grand a month, like boom, boom, boom. And, you know, as good as that sounds, I, I didn't work for a year because I was trying to figure out my next business. So I was kind of in debt. So as I was getting back on my feet, I thought, okay, this is great. I'm making 10, 15 grand a month. This is amazing. Well, then I got a letter from the IRS that said I owed a quarter million dollars in taxes. And that was because I'd never paid taxes when I owned the bar because I was an idiot. Um, and so I was like, how am I, I'm like this, this agency stuff is not going to work now. Like, I, I mean, it, it's, it'll keep me alive and it'll, make me somewhat comfortable, but it's not going to make me no quarter million dollars to send the IRS. So I was like, well, how, how do I, how do I fix this? And I was researching and I found that everybody that was making big money in the uh, internet marketing space, they were selling some type of educational product. It was either an online course, coaching, consulting, an event, a master. It was something that taught you something. It was some sort of educational product. I was like, all right, I got to figure this out. And so I, did everything I could. I learned everything I could. I read books and my very first webinar that I did, uh, I charged a thousand bucks for the program and I made 48 sales. So I made 48 grand in a day. I did it a week later, made 52 sales. So in the course of like 10 days, I did about a hundred thousand dollars and I was completely blown away. Cause I, you know, I was happy, but I wasn't necessarily happy about the money. Cause that immediately went to the, IRS. <laughs> I, I, I was happy because for the first time in my life, I realized it was actually possible. And when yeah. you realize it's possible, it unlocks something in you that allows you to actually put the effort required. Because the funny thing is most people, I always say it's not really that hard to become a millionaire. What's hard is getting out of your own way. That's what's hard is stopping mm -hmm. to tell it's you stopping telling yourself it's hard and oh, this and that and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, you know, it's not, it's, it's you that is the problem. And I was the problem. And when I finally realized it could, it was possible. I just did everything I could to become the master at the game and made a million bucks in five months. And then, uh, you know, my, my goal was to make a million dollars, made a million dollars. Then my goal was to make a million dollars in a month, made a million dollars in a month. Um, then my goal was to make $10 million, made $10 million, won the two comic club X award. Um, right around $8 million, I, I created a new pro program where I started teaching people how to sell their own educational products. Cause I figured, you know, if you do $8 million at it, you probably have some, some cool stuff to share. Plus I, I enjoy teaching people how to sell their knowledge more than I enjoyed the agency program. Um, and then I eventually wrote this book. Uh, I've got Russell asked me to speak at funnel hacking live and it just keeps, keeps going from there. <laughs> It's it's crazy since since I purchased your it was called Facebook ads for entrepreneurs back in yeah, that's the OG that's the OG, OG course uh, back in 2017 and that was the first course that ever got me results because I bought Ty Lopez's and was like yeah it didn't really all line up you know no uh, and then it wasn't until I bought your course and started um, just running Facebook ads to a sales funnel for local businesses. And that's where start, things started to take off. And I hit my first 10K month. Um, and I'm so, so grateful for that. And um, you talk about just getting out of your own way and hitting those new markers in your life. How do you continue to get out of your own way and just keep leveling up your vision? Is there a process that you go through or is it kind of just natural? Oh, well, the biggest thing I would say is stopping this ridiculous idea that you shouldn't do things you don't want to do. Mm. That's insane. Like, I'll give you an example. Um, we, we transitioned to high ticket, right? We don't sell anything cheap anymore. Well, except the, except the book. Um, like, I stopped selling 997 courses and all that. And obviously, when you sell higher ticket, you have to sell over the phone, right? Well, we literally, you know, when, when you make a million dollars a month with a 997 course, you have massive, massive amounts of, of time that goes into dealing with things like refunds, chargebacks, piracy, um, hmm. 
support tickets, people losing their password, people never getting there, just all this random crap, right? And it was so debilitating mm. that I was like, I've got to fix this. And the way we fixed it was we just raised our prices. Like there were products we, we 10X'd our price. We took it from 9.97 to 10 grand. We took mm. something from $47 to like, well, for the most part, I cut out most of my products, but we, you know, we just raised our prices and we sold over the phone. And when we did that, we found that we had virtually no refunds, virtually no chargebacks, very little support tickets because everybody gets onboarded on the call. So there's, there's no, I don't have my password. I don't have access to the group that all gets done on the call. Um, like I said, no refunds, no piracy because pirate pirates are people who are in like Pakistan that you've never met that buy your course, refund it, and then try to sell it for 50 bucks a pop. They're not people who get on the phone with you, sign a contract. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, so when I tell other people about this, right, when I say, Hey, you know, listen, man, you can get in my program and you can make one sale and cover the cost. Well, I don't, you know, and you don't have to deal with piracy, uh, uh, chargebacks, none of this. Well, I, I don't want to sell on the phone. Well, get, do it anyway. Like, well, who cares? You know, like just do it anyway, because it's trading one thing you don't want to do for like five things you don't want. Do you want to deal with refunds? No. Do you want to deal with chargebacks? No. Do you want to deal with piracy? No. Do you want to deal with tons of support tickets? No. But you also don't want to deal with doing sales calls. Well, you're trading one thing you don't want to do to get rid of five things you don't want to do. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's what I think of. Like I, I, when I go through life, I say, what is going to complete the mission? What is going to accomplish the goal? And I don't try to look at whether or not I want to do it. I, I don't care. I want to know if it works and if it will solve problems, not whether I like it or not, or it makes me feel comfortable or any of this stuff that I, I don't think successful entrepreneurs even think about that. Right now, I'm not talking about going past your ethics. I'm not talking about changing your morals. I'm just talking about something that you might think is hard or uncomfortable. Just get over it. That's been the biggest thing for me is I no longer take my personal feelings or uh, level of comfortability into account at all when I make decisions mm. in my business. If it's going to get the job done, I do it. That's it. So I love it. Yeah. Jeff, Jeff Miller, who also was in Facebook ads for entrepreneurs, he always says, tell your brain to shut the fuck up and just do it. Um, yeah, yeah, that's I mean, yeah, that's that's a, a a great way to put it. I mean, just do it. You know. What yeah. I mean? So you brought up an interesting point there, um, which I hadn't really thought about. But you have people that are selling five hundred thousand dollar courses, and they hear just ten x your prices. But what does that look like? How were you able to? Was it an added level of support? Um, what did you add into the program or do differently? to justify the price increase. So when you sell 997, right? What, what am I gonna give you, videos? That's it. Like you, you can't give personal attention to people for a thousand bucks. You just can't. As soon as you start selling, um, you won't be able to give that personal attention anymore. Me personally, if, if I said to you, um, I can teach you how to close at least one high ticket sale per, per week, for the rest of your life. I can teach you how to close. And let's say you charge five grand. And I say, um, I, if I can work with you, I can make sure that you can book calls for your program or, or consulting event, whatever, and close them at five grand a pop at least one a week. If you're terrible, like we close multi, we close four or five a day. Like, you know, for you to only close one high ticket sale per week is pretty bad. So mm -hmm. at the very, like, if you're terrible, right. I can still at least get you to one sale a week. That's, what is that, 240 grand a year? That's 52, whatever, 52 times, hold on. Let me do the math on that real quick. So that's 52 sales in a year, okay? That's 52 sales in a year times, if you only charge five, that's $260,000. Now, if I charge you 997, say here's a bunch of videos, have a nice day, I really don't know if you're gonna be able to hit a sale a week, but, if I can work with you and you can get on a call every week and talk to me and my team, role play and, and just figure out what, what's wrong and, and actually work with you at a high level and even come out to an event and work with you, I know I can do it. So let's say, let, let's just compare two prices, 997 versus 10 grand, right? Would you rather somebody charge you a thousand bucks, say, here's some videos, have a nice day, 
Or would you rather somebody charge you 10 grand, which is two sales, work with you to make sure that you're able to close at least a sale a week, right? Because mm -hmm. you're not paying 10 grand, you're trading two sales. If you charge five and you close a sale a week, you're trading two. Would you trade two sales for the ability to close a sale a week for the rest of your life? Like, so I'll give you an example. I was just on a call with a financial planner who joined my mastermind. And he paid me 30, 30 grand. Okay. And I said to him, I said, you're a financial planner. What investment can you make in, in any market anywhere where I can put down 10 grand and get in, in the first year, get back to 60 if everything goes wrong. And he's mm -hmm. like, you can't, there's nothing. So to me, it's a better value to the customer for me to charge you five or 10 or even 15 grand, which mm -hmm. is only like, two or three sales you have to make to make your money back than to charge you 997 and just have a nice day. Here's some videos. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I don't view it as I raise my prices. I view it as I raise the quality of the program yep. and I'm teaching you how to sell high ticket. We teach how to sell low ticket too, but we teach you how to sell high ticket, transition your product from low ticket to high ticket or create a high ticket product from scratch, whatever it is. And so what ends up happening is we're three to four times more profitable than low ticket. The, the less time my staff is dealing with support tickets, refunds, chargebacks, piracy, the more time they can help you, the client, get the result. Mm -hmm. So that's the thing is, is for my program personally, I'll, I view it as a sale or two. You're mm -hmm. trading me a sale or two for me to teach you how to make a sale every single week or more. Yeah. Um, we had a girl that never did a high ticket sales ever. And the first week she closed four. So when you charge a high price, you have to make it make sense, right? So mine makes sense because I teach you how to sell high ticket. You're trading a sale or two, boom. When you're thinking about your program, you got to think the same thing. Like for instance, um, let's say you were selling a program on um, growing your email list. You could charge 997, give them some videos and say, have a nice day. Or you could charge five or 10,000 and you could work with them to get the most out of their list. And just one, one coaching call that you're on them could be the difference. Maybe they were about to send an email. Maybe they were about to do a launch to their list and they were going to make a massive mistake that could have cost them 20 grand. You fix that before they do it. You've made them, you've made well more than your investment back. So it just makes sense to pay more. And people are these days are willing to pay more. I mean, think about it. You'll pay $70,000 to go to college. You'll pay 20% annual recurring interest, get in debt before you get your foot out in the door of life. You'll, you'll wait four years to maybe get a $50,000 a year job, but likely you'll end up working at Chili's. Mm -hmm. And that is, people say that is okay, but paying the multimillionaire five or 10 grand to teach you what he knows, that's a scam. Yeah. And right there is called society brainwashing you and keeping you poor. They don't want you to be rich. They don't want you to find people like me and, and Andrew and learn how to do stuff because they want you to be poor, right? It, it, like that's the thing. So they're like, oh yeah, college, college, college. It's, it's all a, a ploy. Okay. Mm -hmm. And, that, and that, that's why I wrote this book because to be honest with you, I feel like there's a ton of experts out there ton of experts watching this interview right now that has the ability to change people's lives, even in a small way. And mm -hmm. if our formal education system won't raise the bar, then we'll do it ourselves. That's my view. I, lo I love it. There are a couple of things that I want to unpack there. So um, when you say going from a thousand dollar course to a $10,000 program, really it's added support and you, you have coaches. I have coaches as well. Um, but that's the added support, those coaching calls and events. Like yeah. you're, you have an event in your program, which are events are totally transformational. Like one event just like adds so much momentum. I call it short copy, long video. And how this works is your ad is just a sentence. It's just a sentence or two. It's, hey, do you have this problem? Um, watch this video and I'll solve it. Or, hey, do you have this problem? I solve it in this video. Hmm. That's it. Uh, and then in the video, the video is like maybe 10 minutes long and it's basically a mini webinar. So it's like a webinar before a webinar. And so I, I solve your, I demonstrate that I can truly solve your problem. Um, and I, it's just one aspect of the overall, you know, thing. Like, like one time I said like, Hey, here's how to get your ads approved, uh, and get around income claims and get around weight loss claims. And I did this whole like 10, 15 minute training on it. And that was the ad. And then I said, Hey, 
if you got value out of this and you want to watch, uh, you want even more tips, watch my full hour training on how to grow an online course business. So they click it, they go to the landing page, they register, they immediately watch the webinar. So now they've watched a very valuable, say 10 or 15 minute ad that, and it gets shared and tagged because it's value. Then they watch an, an hour webinar, right? Then they are asked to book a call and they get multiple emails and retargeting ads with more value. They book a call, they get a PDF that gives them every question they could possibly ask about the, the program. It gives them snippets of little, like, I, like I, I even have like a little section in there where I show a, a snippet from a coaching call. Like, hey, wouldn't you like to see inside something before you buy it? Well, here's a, a 10 minute snippet from one of our coaching calls. There you go. Um, I give them multiple things in there and then they get on the call. They have a call with my team and we, we ask them what problems they're having. And if it seems like we can solve those problems, we offer them the program. And if it doesn't seem like we can solve their problems, we don't offer them the program and we let them decide. And then they get in the program and then we work with them. So it, it's a pretty simple thing. I only have two campaigns in my ad account, cold and retarget. And it, it's so simple. And you got to remember the more money you spend on ads, the more ads cost. So when you sell high ticket, if, if you, if you are used to, to selling a 997 program and you want to sell a $5,000 program, you got to remember, you now have to spend five times less ad spend to make the same amount of money and at a higher profit margin. So you, you, I've had to spend less, which makes my ads more profitable. They're more profitable in the first place because it's higher ticket. And it just, everything's better. Multiple six figures on coaching for myself. And I wish I would have done it sooner. Totally. Me too. And in, in what I see in my clients and in myself is when I'm making a multiple or five figure investment or multiple five figure investment, I actually do the work. I actually put it in. Yeah. When, yeah. when you're selling a course, you're seeing at max like a 10% completion rate, right? But like without five-figure investment, you're seeing just about everybody complete the program, um, especially with that added support. Which means higher uh, success rate, more testimonials. Um, people take it serious, more seriously. They don't complain about little things. They don't, you know, like if, if even if they do forget their password or something, they don't flip out. Like, dude, you sell 997, somebody forgets their password, they freak out. Like they flip out like, like the world is ending or like, Oh my God, I, you're, you're, my login's not working. You must be a scam. Let me call my credit card company and charge back. Like that, that's 997 people. When you charge five, 10, 30 grand, nobody cares. They're like, Oh, it's not working. Send a support ticket in. They'll fix it. They, they're chill. Plus you're selling them on the phone. So you get to know the company. You get to speak to somebody in the office. You know, they're real. You're not just buying off an order page. It's just a mm. much better way to do business. Mm. I love that. Let's uh, let's dive into the book. Um, I got this at FHL. Um, really, really awesome. I'd love for you to dive into what everybody's going to learn uh, from the book. Yeah, so I'm going to take you through in the book. I take you through everything from what should my course idea be to how to make. Uh, I give you there's a 30 day plan in here. Let me just open the contents. Hold on, let's do the stack for you. How about that? <laughs> All right, so we're going to cover, um, you know, what is a digital millionaire? And that is basically somebody that sells their knowledge online in, in some format or another. Um, I, I mean, there's a lot in here, but basically I go over crafting your offer, like choosing your niche, how to be clear on your offer, um, you know, how to outline your program, uh, you, the promise you're going to make, how to actually teach, um, testing your offer, how to sell before you create a hundred, uh, a 30 day blueprint. To that's what you get. There's more in there, but that was like a quick. <laughs> That's awesome. I just flipped to this page right here. How I made 100K in 30 days, the exact blueprint. Um, like that alone is incredible amount of value. Um, if you guys want a copy of this, uh, hashtag digital millionaire down below. And how digital millionaire can... secrets. Digital millionaire secrets. You got to add the secrets. Um, but, uh, from there, where, uh, where do they go? They, uh, so the book launches on March 10th. So if you're watching this before March 10th, you go to digital millionaire secrets.com, get on the waiting list. You'll get an email where, so we're going to launch it, um, at like 10 AM on March 10th. Um, 
but I'm going to send an email two hours early to anybody on the waiting list because we only ordered 5,000. This is not fake scarcity or that crap. Um, we ordered 5,000 copies and we already have a list, a waiting list of more than that. And so I'm, I'm, I'm kind of nervous because I feel like we're going to sell out in a day or two and I'm going to have to order more and it takes three weeks to print them. So we're going to send an email to everybody on the waiting list uh, to give you first dibs at the book. And then, um, uh, then we'll make it live on the site. And, uh, but you, you know, I, if, if you don't get it in time, you'll have to wait a th an additional three ish weeks. So I, I feel like we're going to sell out pretty quick. Um, I love it. But guys, if you want your copy, drop down digital marketing secrets.com. Millionaire so secrets. That, if some, what's that? Digital millionaire secrets.com. Don't fuck it up. Digital millionaire secrets.com. Yeah, get on uh, the waiting list and I'll shoot you an email the second 